Hi everyone, Simon Keeling here with your Flying Weather Outlook for the week and weekend ahead brought to you exclusively by Fly in association with weatherschool.co.uk. Thanks again for watching. Now we've got quite a mixed week ahead after that glorious weekend. Things are breaking down a touch. Um, mostly east to southeast wind with rain and some showers. The weekend looks like we see it quite showery in southern areas but higher pressure building towards the north. More on that in just a second. Now don't forget, um, I'm bringing my Aviation Weather School Part 2 as a classroom-based course on the Saturday of the 25th of May from 10am till 4pm here at Weather School HQ in Wombourne. Um, it'd be great to see you there. You can go to weatherschool.co.uk and book your place now. I think I've got one place remaining on that course and the focus of that course is all on SQTs, on jet streams, on making predictions. 14 days in advance. It, yeah, it really is possible now. You know, you're not going to say it's going to rain three weeks next Tuesday at four o'clock in the afternoon, but what you are able to see is patterns in the weather and when we see suitable flying or non-suitable flying. If you want to find out more, just go to weatherschool.co.uk, go to aviation, scroll down to Aviation Weather School Part 2 and click on the classroom based aviation weather part two now aviation weather part one is full but if you want me to let you know when i release the dates again go to weatherschool.co.uk go to contact us use the contact form and just fill that in let me know that you'd like me to let you know when the next dates for aviation weather school part one either the classroom or the online course are available i'll make sure that you get that email. Uh, also, just while we are continuing with the parish notices, um, Facebook have changed the way that we post a group. So the Weather School group um, now gets postings less frequently. To get the most postings from Facebook, um, go to at the Weather School and that will uh, enable you to uh, receive our postings on Weather School and also take a look at at Weather Web. Um, because that will do the same thing. So please do switch to those two uh, accounts to ensure that you continue to see our postings. OK, um, this is how things shape up for Monday. Low pressure is to the southwest. We've got a front surrounding that low, bringing rain through Ireland, western and southern Wales and southwest England. Some showers developing over central parts of Scotland, but other areas of the country are going to be dry. Some decent spells of sunshine, particularly in the east, and this rain just gradually moves its way northwards and eastwards through the course of Monday afternoon. Now, by Tuesday morning, that rain is lying through western Scotland, northern England, into East Anglia. Um, here, non VFR generally because of the rain, because of the clouds, some cuneums in there as well. 2,000 foot basis, tops about 15,000 feet. Following in behind, actually, across Ireland, Wales, central, southern England, probably not too bad, but some heavy showers getting to southern Ireland and into southwest England and southern parts of Wales. Here, we'll have cuneums and we'll have bases of around 2,000 feet with the tops at 20,000 feet. Better across northern and northeastern Scotland, 4,000 foot bases here, 10,000 foot tops. Then we get on to Wednesday, low pressure still towards the south on Wednesday. Remnants of the front lying through southwestern Scotland and northern England, bringing cloud, some outbreaks of rain here. It's non to marginal conditions here. Bases 1,000 to 2,000 feet, tops at about 8,000 feet. Scotland is fair. Base is 4,000 feet, tops at 10,000 feet. And across Ireland and most of England and Wales, it should be largely fair with the bases 4,000 feet, tops at about 12,000 feet. But some showers down towards the south of Ireland, perhaps southwest England, making for marginal conditions here at times, the risk of one or two QNIMs. But actually, it's not a bad flying day. Thursday sees more cloud and some drizzle affecting southern parts of Scotland and northern England. Here, non to marginal conditions because of that cloud. One to two thousand foot bases, six to eight thousand foot tops, and probably hills are going to be covered by that cloud. Northern Scotland, though, faring much better here. And probably for Ireland, for England, and Wales, yes. It should be generally fair, 3,000 foot bases, 12,000 foot tops, but a few showers breaking out. You see the troughs here and here indicating that we could see some bands of heavy showers at the risk of some thunderstorms, um, but they'll be fairly well scattered. And again, actually, Thursday, not too bad a day. Friday sees the risk of some pretty hefty storms across East Anglia, the Midlands, Wales and southern England. Here we go for marginal conditions at times in those um, storms and heavy showers. Two to three thousand foot bases, 
20,000 foot tops. Eastern coast may see a little bit of cloud, but generally we are flyable for all other areas and bases of 3,000 feet tops, about 12,000 feet. And then on to Saturday when uh, some heavy showers develop across East Anglia, central southern parts of England. Here we could find it marginal to non-VFR at times, 2,000 foot bases, 20,000 foot tops with the risk of some storms but generally the areas are fair. Quite a brisk northeasterly breeze by then, bases 3,000 feet, tops at about 15,000 feet. And finally on to Sunday. Very similar on Sunday, some hefty showers developing in East Anglia, the Midlands and Southern England, possibly thrown thundery at times, but other areas look as if they should be generally fair. Always the risk, though, of catching a little bit of low cloud down these eastern coasts and the wind quite a brisk northeastly, 15 to 20 knots. So plenty going on this week, but I have to say, I've seen worse week of weeks of flying weather, you know, that that's overall is not looking too bad. Don't forget to go to weatherschool.co.uk and uh, there uh, you can book your place on Aviation Weather School Part 2 on Saturday the 25th of May. Um, or you can let me know if you'd like to do Part 1 that you want me to let you know as soon as the dates are announced. Um, what didn't I tell you? That, don't forget, on Friday, I issue the free uh, weekend forecast email. So this allows me to update you with the flying forecast for the weekend. It's completely free. It's text forecast um, that's just sent through by email. If you're not getting that yet, just send a, a blank email to the address that you see there, aviationweather-subscribe at weatherweb.net, and I'll make damn sure that you start receiving it. Okay, thanks again for watching. Have a great week. Keep the sun shining, and bye for now.